Hey, hi, I'm live again. Okay, this is live number 35 out of 365. I'm kind of getting used to this now. Um, I just thought occasionally I should do a quick recap for people joining this, this page and who haven't watched any of the other lives. I basically decided to do a daily live every day for a year. Um, and I decided that when I was on the doing the One Funnel Away Challenge that was organized by, that is organized by ClickFunnels, one of the things we were told in the training was to publish, 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 publish in one way or another, either in writing or in a podcast or in a live. And I chose to do live. Oh, and I have my little helper here, Benjamin, our son. Hello, Ben. <laughs> he likes to come in the live occasionally. So anyway, I was just saying that I committed to doing this every day. And uh, to be honest, when I started, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> and I still don't really sometimes. <laughs> but I think I'm seeing more clearly that the purpose of this is to record what I'm doing um, and gradually, hopefully, inspire others to do to do the same <laughs> or to, to, to follow what they want to do. So um yeah these lives sometimes they're very short sometimes i just pop in and say hi i haven't forgotten to do my live but i haven't got time <laughs> and other times they're a little bit longer so today i wanted to do a little longer one if ben will bear with me hey <laughs> um i just wanted to share with you a few things first um yesterday um I'll tell you straight away, he's fine, but my husband was in a, in a pretty bad car crash on the motorway. And uh, again, thankfully, he's fine. Everybody else is fine. It wasn't his fault. Nobody was hurt, at least not badly. So everything is fine. But, um, you know, it's this kind of thing that it, you just know that it can happen. I mean, my well, whenever I take the car, I'm aware of the fact that I could have a, an accident. And uh, my husband is on the road quite a lot because he travels to see his students left, right and center. And I am always aware that that an accident could happen. Um, but somehow when it does happen, <laughs> it kind of hits you how, yeah, how quickly these things can happen and how lucky we are to have each other and how really we just don't know what's around the corner. So I had a, 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 well, I was pretty shaken yesterday. I think my husband was even more shaken than me, of course, because he was in the crash. <laughs> and um, it, it just brought it home to me. Yeah, how I must really enjoy every, every good moment there is in this life. And it, it, uh, and I, I'm very, very grateful for all the wonderful things I have in my life. And I guess this made me think, yes, you can draw, Ben. Yes. <laughs> this also made me think of this whole thing of perspective and and of that really experiences in life are, are a lot about how you how you look at things, how you choose to to look at things. Um, and and of course sometimes some situations genuinely are difficult and no matter how you look at them they're difficult <laughs> but i think for me it does help me when i'm when i'm able to to choose to look at the good side rather than the bad side and or to, to choose to to see um the the good things that come out of of bad things and so I was, I was really thinking of that yesterday and this morning again, thinking, you know, things that are very difficult in my life right now, like the situation with my dad, how, this has actually led me to lots of good things. I don't quite think I would have started this journey and been so passionate about building my online business as I am now, if I hadn't had this situation with my dad. I think when my, when my dad came back in 2016, it kind of 
propelled me into this world of taking care of him a lot and and of doing a lot of things that I didn't really want to do, but that I felt I, I should be doing. And and that somehow gave me this 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 impulse to do something for myself two years later, you know, in 2018. And and for some reason, this this um, the fact that I have to make this big sacrifice, that gives me a lot of energy, paradoxically in a way, to, to do something for me. And it kind of forces me to, to put myself first a little bit for, for at, at times. So I think that's good, that's great. And I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be where I am now if I, if I hadn't had this difficult thing f- you know, uh, from my dad. Um, and I'm thinking similarly these lives. I mean, it was very, very, very uncomfortable for me at the beginning to do them. And, and I thought, okay, I'm going to trust what Russell Brunson says. I'm going to do them. I'm going to, I, I, you know, I'm just going to ignore this, the fact that it's difficult. I'm going to get on there and I'm going to do it. And really, I can see already after 35 days of doing that every day, um, I can see so many good things that ha- have come out of that. I've met um, new people. Some people I know have maybe watched me and maybe realized some things they didn't quite realize about me and have come out and said some really nice things to me. So that was really nice. I'm very grateful. Um, thank you, guys. <laughs> um, there's been yeah a couple of opportunities that have come my way that probably would not have come my way if I had not talked um, live here. So it it, it really is a case sometimes of, of just doing what is uncomfortable. And Jang, I believe this morning or yesterday in, in, in his life live was saying saying just that that generally I think you were saying something like that that generally uh, people go for what's comfortable. But if you have the courage to go what, for what's not comfortable, then good, great things come out of that. And I've really experienced that. So, um, so yeah, this is, this is, this is sort of my, my little nugget I wanted to share today. Um, and, and that's it. Ben, do you have something to share? Do you have something to say? He's thinking. <laughs> you have something you want to share with people? You want to, you think they would like, they would learn from? Yeah. Yeah? What is it? Say, say. <laughs> well, my tooth is moving. Oh, your tooth is moving, you yes. You do need to move it. If you have a <laughs> tooth at the back, Yes, show that we can see. Ben has this, yeah, I, I think it, it's visible. Ben has this funny tooth. The two grown up, you can close your door. The two grown up tooth, teeth have come out, but the little ones haven't fallen. And they they kind of want to want to stay. So there again, actually, this is another thing. Eh? We have to move the little ones and we have to push them to fall because we want Benjamin to have to, to have a lovely grown-up smile with his two grown-up teeth to show. And it does involve a bit of pain, doesn't it, Ben? Yeah. But you 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 want to do it because you want to to have your grown-up teeth, don't you? Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that was Ben live from Switzerland at um 1952. <laughs> Should we say goodbye? Yeah. Okay. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. <laughs>